Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, this was one of the mistakes I made on my big public speech in front of 300 people. This was my first one. But making mistakes never stopped me from trying. I want to make an agreement with you. At the very beginning of my speech, I want to ask you today to be brave. Make mistakes and speak in any language you wish. Is it okay for you? Hands up. Who is okay with this? Right. I've been teaching to speak since I was being 18 years old and my classmates put them in a very uncomfortable situation. As you maybe know, before mature exam, last exam in high school, we decide what subject to pass. Usually we sign a special list and according to it, teachers invite us for extra classes to prepare ourselves for the chosen subject. Some of my classmates were brave enough to tell the English teacher that they pass German and the German teacher that they pass English. As a result, these bright minds could go home much earlier, avoiding extra time on mature preparation classes. You can probably guess that the truth finally came out and they have to pass a special test to get to the mature. I decided to help them in preparation for it. I had regular tutoring with my peers, but we made a deal. If they pass Matua, they don't have to pay for my services. And by the way, they all did. They all passed Matua. That was my first real lesson where I started to realize what's important in the learning process. I decided to observe the learning habits and the difference in the different incentives on my students. Very fast I understood the secret mechanism of effective learning. At least so I can say. I realized that it's not a matter of lack of knowledge or talent that caused problems in fluency. We were achieving great results after, would you like to guess? Plum beer from the local brewery. Suddenly my classmates were able to communicate quite well. It made me wonder, what's the mystery? I'm a teacher and a people lover, so I will tell you. But before that, I would like to invite you to a little experiment, which will help you to possess the secret. In the next couple of minutes, I will take you for a journey through your imagination world we are going to build will be based on your own experience and perception. Let's check how the techniques successfully used in business and sport is doubtlessly playing huge role in mental preparation for effectively achieving goals. Do you know what I'm talking about? Visualization, that's right. I use visualization quite often, not only in my lessons. It helps us to understand things better. It creates a mental fundament, supporting our growth. Let's start. Please close your eyes and take two or three deep breaths. Inhale and exhale in your own time, in your own pace. With your eyes closed, Try to imagine that you are surrounded by a beautiful scenery of Croatian coast. If you look up, you can see mountains. You're standing in the perfect water in the right temperature for you. You see your friends on the beach. They speak to you Croatian. They invite you to play. Their skin is tanned and they are smiling with their little white teeth. Keep your eyes closed and imagine that you're staying there for a couple of days. Day after day, hour after hour, you understand more and more. No dictionaries needed, no intent courses are involved, except most valuable hours of explorations, moments of discoveries, 
and common curiosity. They are the essential force, not only allowing you to understand the language, but also to fulfill your dreams. Diving in the warm Adriatic Sea, which cuddles you with its refreshing streams, you feel comfortable and secure, you dive deeper. You can see your friends keeping an eye on you while hunting marine creatures that you have never seen before. Now you can come out of water, face the sun and warm the body. Take a deep, deep breath to fill yourself up with this great moment and then breathe out in order to open your eyes. Come back to us and discover something very interesting. Let's open our eyes. This, ladies and gentlemen, was how I learned to speak Croatian in two months of vacations when I was 12 years old. I would like to introduce to you a method that I call deep immersion and basing on my 15 years of experience and feedback from over 1000 customers, I'm sure that this is the secret. I think we will all agree that this is not an innovative method and it comes from the natural way we learn our mother tongue. As babies, we first listen, then answer, and as you know, we don't answer in full sentences. Later on, we start to repeat more complicated structures. After that, we read, we write, and in the end, we start to learn the grammar that we are using all our lives before. Now we are just starting to calling it. Right? Deep immersion is nothing else than being totally surrounded by the language you want to learn, using the things you love, the things that make you comfortable and secure to learn the language of your choice. Now, I would like to share you how to immerse deeply without getting out of your comfort zone, with pleasure and on your own rules, thanks to the resources that you have already got. I told you to be brave and learn at the right time. Easy to say, but how the hell can we do it? Adapt with learning by heart. Combining all the elements I mentioned today, I try to surround yourself with the language you want to learn. Try to incorporate lovely things in your everyday life. If you're into music, check the, the lyrics and then every time you're going to listen to your favorite song, you can treat it as a revision of vocabulary. Find the vocabulary around you. Check how to use it. Think about ch changing settings in your social media or on ma mail. You can also read the ingredient lists on products and then compare it to your product. If you have some problems with accent, watch your beloved series in the language of your choice. Find good online radio, because listening is the key. Or try karaoke with the accent of your choice. I'm personally totally in love with the cardigans, loveful. It's my song for every party. Now, what stops you from talking? What's the most common problem? Hmm? I've heard it starts with D. Did I hear grammar? Exactly. I'm told that all the time. I'm sure that we are in the same situation, but I can bet that most of you don't use much grammar in your everyday life. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to encourage you to be lazy or disrespectful to the rules of the language, but it is also the part of culture and heritage, but isn't it the key to the issue I call the language curse? I want you to be brave, brave to speak, brave to make mistakes, brave to not stem and learn how to correct them at the right time. May I ask you something? Can you ride a bike? 
have you learned the theory of physics to ride a bike? Mm -mm, I don't think so. But I'm sure that all of you still have some scars after your first bicycle rides. Think about it. In the end, I would like to share with you programming, but not IT programming. It will be about foreign language curse and your mindset. Many nations, when learning new language, they call it foreign. Does it affect our cognitive skills? Isn't it the, sometimes the case that we are casting a curse on our perception? Over 15 years of my experience and thousands of times I heard about this curse. It is called the language barrier. No matter the age, the position or gender, all of my students mention the impassable barrier they have in their head, flaming red, which they cannot cross. Don't we treat it as a self-fulfilling prophecy? If something strange is something odd, is it foreign? Why should we accept that? I have a proposition for you. Just in the end of our today's meeting, what about calling it a second language? Hmm? Your engagement and curiosity will be still needed, but for sure your brain will be prepared also for the third, fourth and the fifth. Sounds interesting? Thank you for your attention.